Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all well. As you can see, it's not a usual introduction. Sorry for that, I haven't slept a lot this week and I'm a little ill, so I'm doing it this way for this video. So as you can see, I'm going to make a new ethnic drawing based on a picture I found on Pinterest. I love to draw pictures with many details, to more, to better. For some reason, I feel like it just gives so much more strength to the image and also I feel like ethnic pictures are so so rich in so many ways. I get inspired so easily by using it on garments too. Uh, I really love it. So I started drawing when I was a kid. I always loved to draw. I used to draw anime and I remember making some for my friends who asked for it. There was a trend at school where you had to exchange colored papers with a mouse called Diddle. I don't know if you remember it, it looked like this. So now that I think about it back then, I didn't understand the point of this paper exchange thing and I still don't understand it now. But as far as I'm concerned, my mom didn't buy us those papers, but we still managed to have piles of them. So I guess I was a good negotiator. Anyways, some of my classmates asked me to draw a diddle for them. My mom always told me that I was really good at drawing, but to be fair, it's only when my classmates' parents and teachers, etc., that told me how good I was, that I myself realized that it must be something not that common. I'm pretty sure I've kept some of the drawings from when I was a kid somewhere in Brussels, so when I get back there, I will search for them and show you in future videos. Anyway, I kept drawing mostly from home. My father worked at a bookstore and he used to bring me unsold fashion magazines. I never read them. I just loved to watch all the catwalk pictures and photo shoots. And from then on, my mom bought me a sketchbook. I still remember this like it was yesterday. I felt like the happiest girl. I was so grateful for this gift. So I directly started to draw all the models in those magazines with all those fancy clothes and I loved it. I still have those drawings, I probably will show them in other videos too, um, as I don't have them with me in London. And then when I was about 14, my mom thought it would be a good idea to go to a drawing class. And I think I went four times, I didn't like it and I didn't feel like I was learning more than by myself. And then later on, I tried again when I was about 20. It was a very small class. We had to draw life models and I loved it. I think I went once a week for two months because then it was just over. Classes were over and the teacher was great too. The time I spent the most drawing was during my bachelor degree and now I'm getting back to it, but not as much as I just want to draw whenever I like it and not feel like it's an assignment anymore.
what you think of the final results? Would you like me to draw any other kind of pictures? Do you want me to draw one for you or anyone else as a gift? Uh, feel free to comment below. I'm always open to new ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, you can find all pictures on my Instagram page and I will see you next week.